this is my updated DIY rosemary water spray for hair growth and I'm going to start by showing you how to make it. As you can see I'm pouring some water from the kettle into a pot, it's about a cup and a half and I'm putting about 5 to 6 sprigs of rosemary as you can see they're cut in pieces because they're really short. You really don't need that much but of course if you want to make more than this you can always double the recipe. Here's another ingredient that's been added recently to my recipe and this is peppermint i absolutely love peppermint for hair growth so it's only fair that i add it to my rosemary mix mediterranean cultures have used rosemary for centuries the research backs this up more than anything else i've ever seen so rosemary oil has anti-inflammatory properties it promotes nerve growth which is the only oil i've ever heard of that promotes nerve growth and it improves your circulation we'll get into that during the demo it also prevents premature graying dandruff and dry itchy scalp it is as effective as minoxidil or rogaine which are two popular prescribed medications that you can take for hair growth and it's even more effective than rogaine and minoxidil when it comes to itchy scalp two more separate studies have shown that the leaf extract which is completely different from the essential oil stimulates hair growth even with balding and alopecia now for peppermint peppermint is a vasodilator it is a scalp stimulator and works perfectly in conjunction with rosemary which is why i combined them it also leaves a really nice refreshing and tingling sensation on the scalp and it's amazing for promoting hair growth so as you can see i made sure that everything was completely seeped underneath the water that was about a cup and a half if i didn't mention that and you just want to bring it to a boil and then once it's boiled then you can see it's boiling to your liking you can let it continue to simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes and this is what i did here once that is done and I feel like it's boiled enough, you can tell because the herbs look cooked, okay? The color changes, they look cooked. And so now what you want to do is put the lid back on, move it off the burner, and then just let it cool and it is ready to use as soon as it cools. So that could be one hour, it could be overnight if you're feeling lazy. On this day, I was feeling lazy, so I left it overnight, and this is the next morning. As you can see, before we took it out, it wasn't like really brown, but now that it's sat for a while and completely cooled, it becomes this very ready brown color, and that's when you know that you've got the right rosemary water. This is how it works. So with the measurements I used, it came to about a cup, of course, after all the evaporation during the boiling process, and you do not have to use a cup measurement of course you can use whatever measurement you want because this does not go bad quickly and you can easily store it in the fridge so you can absolutely double the recipe or you can have the recipe if you just want to try this out for the first time so once that's all decanted into my little spray bottle we are going to add some additional ingredients that are not necessary if you use oils on your scalp this is for people who either have oily scalps or just hate the feeling of oil in their hair we are going to add a couple drops of rosemary essential oil to this water this is just to kick it up a notch and make it even more potent but again if you don't have these essential oils you absolutely do not need to use them this is strictly for people who don't like using oils on their scalp so even i don't use this with these oils all the time because i use an oil mix that incorporates these essential oils so i put 10 drops of the rosemary oil and now i'm adding 10 drops of the essential oil peppermint now if this is your first time trying this, you may want to use five drops because it is pretty potent and you never want this also directly on your scalp. So you just want to shake it up and you literally cannot feel any oiliness at all because essential oils are pretty dry in nature. And that is the rosemary water done. It is time for application. So my hair is detangled and twisted ready for braiding. So this means my hair is dirty. So you can apply this two ways. You can apply it on dirty hair or you can apply it in between your wash day after you shampoo your hair but before you apply your conditioner or your deep conditioner preference is all up to you for me I find myself doing this more often 
because I think it's just easier for me. So what I do is I always shake it up before just in case anything kind of separated. It's just good to shake your product. And I only focus this on the scalp. Now you can spray this on your hair if you want, but I'm telling you right now, it's more like a waste because while it does have some benefits if you spray it on your hair, more of the benefits come from spraying it on your scalp. So just spray it on your scalp for maximum benefits. Not to mention you can promote hair growth from the ends of your hair. You can only retain the length there promoting the hair growth starts from the scalp from the roots so that's what I'm doing I'm generously spraying this all over my scalp and just working it in now you can do this whether your hair is in twists whether it's in braids whether it's just out whether you have curly hair or straight hair all you want to do is move your hair around and get access to your scalp and spray that spray on directly onto your scalp or as close to your scalp as you can get it and massage it in to make sure that you're not wasting it by it just dripping all over the place. Now, another thing is a lot of people ask how often you can use this. Now, a lot of people like to use this every single day. I say if you have very oily hair and you wash your hair pretty often, and by that I mean every two to three days, you can get away with spraying this in your hair every day. But if you have dry hair or you don't wash your hair as often like I do, you only want to spray this on the day when you wash your hair or latest or let me say earliest the night before you wash your hair. This is simply because rosemary water actually has mild astringent properties, meaning it can actually make your hair feel dry if you leave it in your hair for too long. So for me, because I know I naturally have dry hair, I don't even risk leaving it in my hair just in case it makes my hair feel dry. It hasn't made my hair feel dry so far, but I also le haven't left it in my hair long enough to ever feel those side effects. So again, how often should you use this? Every time you wash your hair. But if you're looking for a minimum, like you don't want to do it every time, I would say once a week or once every other week will also still give you amazing hair growth benefits. So once it is all worked into your entire scalp, you want to go ahead and give yourself a nice scalp massage. This is just going to make sure that you add even more sensory activation to your scalp to stimulate your scalp and help all these oils and benefits and ingredients from the rosemary and the peppermint to do their magic and work even better and it's also nice and relaxing so that is always an added benefit not to mention low stress levels help help hair growth which means your hair is still going to be stimulated by any one of these things so once that's done i like to go under a plastic cap either for one hour just out or i go under heat for about 20 minutes and then it's basically done. And at the end of my wash day, this is what my hair looked like. It was a blow dry and trim day and my hair is flourishing.